So you you live in a van and you are wondering, how do I eat? How do I cook in my van? How? How do I how do I do that? Well I'm I'm Philly. It's 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 like I'm very tired. I, that was a good night's sleep but now you you have woken up to the smell of coffee except there's no there's no coffee yet All, only only the water is boiling and then you realize that wait a minute I'm, I'm by myself in my van. I was sleeping. How is the water boiling? If, if I didn't... Alright, all right, that's besides the point. How do you cook? Well, first thing you need to do is you get a... You get your stove ready. And then you get your skillet ready. And that's... If you want to cook breakfast, you can use your skillet. Or, if you want to use something else in case you want to cook something else then you have your pot this is a two quart pot that I have that I can cook with and um, and you can do you can do whatever you want so right now I'm gonna do breakfast If you want to cook, if you, if you want to, if you want to cook inside your van, you should have one of those. I have one of those with one of these. Um, unfortunately, yesterday I was so tired, I didn't go to the store, so I didn't buy any food. This, this is all I got. <laughs> Sometimes I cook pancakes for breakfast. Sometimes I cook eggs. Sometimes I make it very elaborate with peppers, onions, garlic, mushroom. I get none of that today. I do have eggs and turkey and cheese plus the onions. That's going to be a good breakfast. That's it, and just like that, if you live in a van, breakfast is... Breakfast is done. So now all you gotta do is start enjoying it. Mm. Very good meal.
And of course, then you have your mystery coffee that began brewing before you even woken up. But somehow, it's here. And uh, it's coffee. You, you can make your breakfast as elaborate as you want. And you don't have to use little tiny bit utensils and pots and pans. You can use real life, real size stuff. Because you, you're not backpacking. You have a whole van to carry stuff for you. So, yeah. And it's nice that I could turn on my Webasto. It's a little chill, you know. Like, there's like 60 in a van or something. 65. So I just... I turned up the heat a little bit. Or you can do even more elaborate stuff, especially if you have one of these. This is a one and a half quart solar crock pot. Not just any crock pot, a solar crock pot. Or you can just plug it into any uh, cigarette outlet. But mine runs on power from the sun. I'm not going to make anything too elaborate. I'm just going to throw in some pepper in there. Some uh, mushrooms. Right now it's about three-ish. So the sunset is at five, six, is it six or seven? I forget. But I think I have about three, four hours, so that's that's very important. My my ba my batteries will not last too long overnight cooking this. So it's important that you, if you have one of these babies, and you can get it at any truck stop, almost any truck stop, then it's very important that you plug it in during. Uh, during the day when there's plenty of sun, unless you have plenty of power. One of the problems that I always have is that I miscalculate the size of this thing. This is smaller than what it looks, and I always buy too much. And I always put too much in here. Some carrots. Not a lot, or it won't fit. Some celery. It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. Some onion. Maybe, maybe half an onion. Yeah. Buddy, take it easy. Do not fall. Stay. I have no idea why I'm crying, but last but not least, some some potatoes. I have no idea. Maybe this uh, onion skin will help my tears <laughs> I don't think it's helping <laughs> now that you have your pot full if it doesn't quite fit you just smush it down that usually helps next I'm gonna add some uh, some water just just a little bit not much now what I'm gonna do after I finish crying is I'm, oh, I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna let it cook for maybe about an hour and a half. <laughs> Where's that skin? Onion skin. This thing I think really helps. So after I let it cook for about an hour and a half, 
this is going to reduce a lot of these things are going to shrink and reduce so once it reduces I'm going to add my chicken and I'm going to put my chicken in here and then I'm going to let it cook for maybe about another hour and a half or so. So next step is to uh, plug this in and uh, I'm going to use these to put underneath this because this gets really hot. And now, now that I plugged it in, just uh, press the button. And I'm going to set the timer <laughs> right after I finish crying. <laughs> Where's that onion skin? Oh, this, this stuff is really good, I think. I didn't forget the spices. That's that's coming later. I'll, I'll put them in there soon. Slight change of plans. And it was my fault. It was not any appliance's fault, it was mine. I decided very late in the day that I was going to start cooking. And it's not summer anymore. It's, the sun doesn't go down at 9 o'clock. So I was beginning to run out of power from the sun. I, I didn't want to deplete my battery. So I took things out of the crock pot and I put them in here which actually is a plus because now I could use I was able to use all my ingredients that I had before so that baby there is boiling and all the steam is going right out if I had started cooking in that crock pot let's say 12 o'clock instead of four <laughs> then yeah I would have what time is it now I, I would be eating my meal right now but I decided yeah I'm gonna no so yeah crock pot is good but that's also very good so now I just gotta I'm going to have food here for like the next two, three, four days maybe. It's time to make the chicken happy. This is a delicate process. I'm just going to put gloves on. Now I'm going to place the chicken in there and make the chicken happy. I have a couple containers that I can put the leftovers in. I'll put it all the way at the bottom of the refrigerator and it's pretty cold in there so it's it should be okay. This meal is done. I'm gonna I'm gonna serve myself and um, I'll, I'll I'll get back to you in a second, maybe a minute. Mm. Just, just. Mm. Oh, and the potatoes. Mm. Everything is just. Oh, 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 that's hot. That's hot. I need coffee. This is how you have a nice meal in the man. Simple, takes a couple hours, homemade. There is a way which seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. Proverbs 14, 12. <laughs>